Mandayam Shri Guru Shri Atha Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raganatam Vidam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam <coughs> Shri Radha Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vidam Shri Om Ajnana Timurandasya Gyanajana Shilaka Shakshuran Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Nama Gurva Bistam Sapurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samastaveda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Vidam Ujwalam Bharatanum Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Mande Vishwagurun Shah Divyad Bhagavat Prem Nawe Bijapradam Devam Divyatanam Suchandavaranam Balarka Chelanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sadeka Varanam Bhairagya Vidyambunim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Banditam Shivaram Mareka Sharanam Nashishvara Sridharam Mansha Kopatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patitanam Bhavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namonama Namo Mahamananyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gauratavise Namo So we're reading from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and Commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada This is Adi Lila Chapter 7 Lord Chaitanya and Five Features about the Pancha Tatwa. Is the microphone on? Huh? Is the on? I believe so. This is verse number 40. Brindavana Jaite Prabhu Rahila Kashite Mayavadi Gana Tare Lagila Nindite well, while Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was passing through Varanasi on his way to Vrindavan, the Mayavadi sannyasi philosophers blasphemed against him in many ways. While, pre- while preaching Krishna consciousness with full vigor, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu faced many Mayavadi philosophers. Similarly, we are also facing opposing swamis, yogis, impersonalists, scientists, philosophers, and other mental speculators. And by the grace of Lord Krishna, we successfully defeat all of them without difficulty. Sanyasi hoya kore gayana nachan na kore vedanta pata kore sankirtan. The blasphemer said, although a sannyasi, he does not take interest in the study of Vedanta, but instead always engages in chanting and dancing in Sankirtan. Fortunately or unfortunately, we also meet such Mayavadis who criticize our method of chanting and accuse us of not being interested in study. They do not know that we have translated volumes and volumes of books into English and that the students in our temples regularly study them in the morning, afternoon, and evening. We are writing and printing books, and our students study them and distribute them all over the world. No Mayavadi school can present as many books as we have. Nevertheless, they accuse us of not being fond of study. Such accusations are completely false, but although we study, we do not study the nonsense of the Mayavadis. Mayavari sannyasis neither chant nor dance. Their technical objection is that this method of chanting and dancing is called toriatrika, which indicates that a sannyasi should, should completely avoid such activities and engage his time in the study of Vedanta. Actually, such men do not understand what is meant by Vedanta. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Vidaisya sarvairaham eva vedyo vedantakrid veda vedeva chaham. 
May all the Vedas I am to be known. Indeed, I am the compi compiler of Vedanta, and I am the knower of the Vedas. Lord Krishna is the actual compiler of Vedanta, and whatever he speaks is Vedanta philosophy. Although, although they are lacking the knowledge of Vedanta presented by the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the transcendental form of Srimad Bhagavatam, the Mayan bodies are very proud of their study, foreseeing the bad effects of their presenting Vedanta philosophy in a perverted way. Srila Vyasadeva compiled Srimad Bhagavatam as a commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. Srimad Bhagavatam is Bhashyo Yam Brahma Sutranam. In other words, all the Vedanta philosophy in the aphorisms of the Brahma Sutra is is thoroughly described in the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam. Thus, the factual propounder of Vedanta philosophy is a Krishna conscious person who always engages in reading and understanding the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam and, and teaching the purport of these books to the entire world. The Mayavadis are very proud of having monopolized Vedan the Vedanta philosophy, but Devotees have their own commentaries on Vedanta, such as Srimad Bhagavatam and others written by the Acharyas. The commentator of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas is the Govinda Bhasha. The, Mayavadi, the Mayavadi's accusation that devotees do not study Vedanta is false. The Mayavadis do not know that chanting, dancing, and preaching the principles of Srimad Bhagavatam called Bhagavad Dharma are the same as studying Vedanta. Since they think that reading Vedanta philosophy is the only function of a sannyasi, and they did not uh, find Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they, since they think that reading Vedanta philosophy is the only function of a sannyasi, and they did not find Chaitanya Mahaprabhu engaged in such direct study, they criticized the Lord. Sripad Shankaracharya has given special stress to the study of Vedanta philosophy. Vedanta Vakyesha, Vedanta Vakyeshu uh, Sada, Ramanta Kopina Vanta Kalu Bhagyavanta. A sannyasi accepting the renounced order very strictly and wearing nothing more than a loincloth should always study the philosophical philosophical statements in the Vedanta Sutra. Such a person in the renounced order is to be considered very fortunate. The Mayavadis in Varanasi blasphemed Lord Chaitanya because his behavior did not follow these principles. Lord Chaitanya, however, bestowed his mercy upon these Mayavadi sannyasis and delivered them by means of his Vedanta discourses with Prakashananda Saraswati and Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. Murkya sannyasi nija dharma nahi jane bhavuka hoya fere bhavukera sane this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is an illiterate sannyasi and therefore does not know his real function. Guided only by his sentiments, he wanders about in the company of other sentimentalists. Foolish Mayavadis not knowing that the Krishna consciousness movement is based on a solid philosophy of transcendental science, superficially conclude that those who dance and chant do not have full knowledge of the essence of Vedanta philosophy, for they study the real uh, commentary on the Vedanta philosophy, Srimad Bhagavatam, and the Bhagavad Gita as it is. I think I skipped a line. Let me do this again. Foolish Mayavadis not knowing that the Krishna conscious movement is based on a solid philosophy of the transcendental science superficially conclude that those who dance and chant do not have uh, philosophical knowledge. Those who are Krishna conscious, Krishna conscious actually have full knowledge of the essence of Vedanta philosophy 
for they study the real commentary on the Vedanta philosophy, Srimad Bhagavatam, and follow the actual words of the Supreme Personality of God as found, as found in Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita as it is. After understanding the Bhagavad philosophy or Bhagavad Dharma, they become fully spiritual, spiritually conscious or Krishna conscious, and therefore their chanting and dancing is not material, but is on the spiritual platform. Although everyone admires the ecstatic chanting and dancing of the devotees, who are therefore popularly known as the Hare Krishna people, Mayavadis cannot appreciate these activities because of their poor fund of knowledge. A sub shuniya prabhu hase mane mane upeka koriya karo nakul nakoila sambase. A sub shuniya prabhu hase mane mane upeka koriya karo nakoila sambasane. Hearing all this philosophy, Lord Chaitanya merely smiled to himself, rejected all these accusations, and did not talk with the Mayavadis. As Krishna conscious devotees, we do not like to converse with Mayavadi philosophers simply to waste valuable time. But whenever there is an opportunity, we impress our philosophy upon them with great vigor and success. Upeka koriya koila matura agaman, matura dekiya puna koila agaman. Thus neglecting the philosophy of the, Ma, of the Varanasi, thus neglecting the blasphemy of the Varanasi Mayavadis, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu proceeded to Mathura, and after visiting Mathura, he returned to meet the situation. Lord Chaitanya did not talk with the Mayavadi philosophers when he first visited Varanasi, but he returned there from Mathura to convince them of the real purpose of Vedanta. Kashite Lekaka Shudra Sri Chandra Shekar Taragare Rohila Prabhu Swatandra Ishwar. This time Lord Chaitanya stayed at the house of Chandra Shekar, although he was regarded as a Shudra or Kayasta, for the Lord as the Supreme Personality of God is completely independent. Lord Chaitanya stayed at the house of Chandra Shekar. A clerk, although a sannyasi is not supposed to reside in a shudra's house. 500 years ago, especially in Bengal, it was the system that persons who were born in the families of Brahmins were accepted as Brahmins, and all those who took birth in the other fa in other families, even the higher caste, namely the Chatriyas, the Vaishas, never considered shudra non-Brahmins. Therefore, although Sri Chandrasekhar was a clerk from a Kayasta family in Upper India, he was considered a Shudra. Similarly, Vaishyas, especially those of the Suvarnavanic community, were accepted as Shudras in Bengal, and even the Vaidyas, who were generally physicians, were also considered Shudras. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, however, did not accept this artificial principle which was introduced in society by self-interested men, and later the Kayastas, Vaidyas, and Vaniks all began to accept the sacred thread, despite objections from the so-called Brahmins. Before the time of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Suvarna Vanik class was condemned by Balal Sen, who was then the king of ben Bengal, due to a personal grudge. In Bengal, the Suvarnavanic class are always very rich, 
for they are bankers and dealers in gold and silver. Therefore, Balai Sen used to borrow money from a Suvarnabhanic banker. Uh, Balai Sen's bankruptcy later obliged the Suvarnabhanic banker to stop advancing money to him, and thus Balai Sen became very angry and condemned the entire Suvarnabhanic society as belonging to the Shudra community. He tried to induce the Brahmins not to accept the Suvarnabhanics as followers of the instructions of the Vedas under the Brahminical directions, but although some Brahmins approved of Balal Sen's actions, others did not. Thus the Brahmins also became divided amongst themselves, and those who supported the Suvarnabhanic class were rejected from the Brahmin community. At the present day, the same biases are still being followed. There are many Vaishnava families in Bengal whose members, although not born, not actually born Brahmins, act as acharyas by initiating disciples and offering the sacred thread as enjoined in the Vaishnava tantras. For example, in the families of Thakur, Raghunandan Acharya, Thakur, Krishnadas, Navani Hora, and Rasikananda Dev, a disciple of Shamananda Prabhu, Let's see. for example, in the families of Thakur, Raghunandan Acharya, Thakur, Krishnadas, Navani Hora, and Rasikananda Dev, a disciple of Shamananda Prabhu, the sacred thread is performed as it is for the Kaskal Swamis, and, that, and this system has continued for the past three to four hundred years. Accepting disciples born in Brahminical families, they are bona fide spiritual masters ex who have the facility to worship the Shalagram Shila, which is worship with the deity. As of this writing, Shalagram Shila worship has not yet been introduced in our Krishna conscious movement, but soon it will be introduced in all our temples as an essential function of Archana Mark deity worship. So generally we don't worship Shalagram Shila. We worship Govardhan Shila. Tapan Mishra Gari Bhikkha Nirvahan Sanyasira Sanginahi Mani Nimantran Srila Sridhar Marsh, he had one Shalagram Shila, he had Shalagram Shila on his altar. We do not consider ourselves qualified to do that kind of worship. Still now, or, or wasn't that one? Well, usually Shalagram Shila worship is associated with Vishnu worship. Baraha Dev. Yeah. As a matter of principle, Lord Chaitanya regularly accepts. Tapan Mishra Gare Bikanir Bahan Sanyasira Sangi Nahi Mani Nimantran. As a matter of principle, Lord Chaitanya regularly accepted his food at the house of Tapan Mishra. He never mixed with other sannyasis, nor did he accept invitations from them. The exemplary behavior of Lord Chaitanya definitely proves that a Vaishnava sannyasi cannot accept invitations from Mayavadi sannyasis or intimately mix with them. And when we used to travel with devotees from Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mutt, when we used to travel and do collecting, collecting especially for Gaur Purnima, we would co collect potatoes, rice, and things like that, foodstuffs and take with us our own cook. We didn't accept uh, meals from, from 
other, she actually we didn't accept meals from other persons, from other institutions. We just maintained our own cook until we got to one place called Memory. And in Memory there were, there were Grihasta families who were disciples of Srila Sridhar Maharaj and later Srila Govinda Maharaj. And we used to accept meals in their houses. When we were traveling and there were no disciples of persons from the Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, and we had a cook cook with us who would prepare um, the 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 boga he would he would cook. Sanatana Gosayashi Tahai Milila Tara Shikalagi Prabhu Du Masha Rohila. When Sanatana Goswami came from Bengal, he met Lord Chaitanya at the house of Tapan Misha, where Lord Chaitanya remained continuously for two months to teach him devotional service. Lord Chaitanya taught Sanatana Goswami in the line of disciplic succession. Sanatana Goswami was a very learned scholar in Sanskrit and other languages, but until instructed by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he did not write anything about Vaishnava behavior. His very famous book, Hari Bhakti Vilas, which gives directions for Vaishnava candidates, was written completely in compliance with the instructions of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In the Hari Bhakti Vilas, Sri Sanatana Goswami gives definite instructions that by proper initiation, uh, In the Hari Bhakti Bila, Sri Sanatana Goswami gives definite instructions that by proper initiation by a bona fide spiritual master, one can immediately become a Brahmin. In this connection, he says, Yata Kanshanantam Yati Kamsham Rasa Vidan Nataha Tatadika Vidanena Dvijatvam Jayate Nrinam. As bell metal is turned to gold when mixed with mercury in an alche alchemical process, so one who is completely trained and initiated by a bona fide spiritual master immediately becomes a Brahmin. Sometimes those born in Brahmin families protest this, but they have no strong arguments against this principle. By the grace of Krishna and his devotees, and his devotee, one's life can change. This is confirmed in Srimad Bhagavatam by the words Jahati Bandam and Shudyati. Janati Bandam indicates that a living entity is conditioned by a particular type of body. The body is certainly an impediment, but one who associates with a pure devotee and follows his instructions can avoid this impediment and become a regular Brahmin by initiation under his strict guidance. Srila Jiva Goswami states how a non-Brahmin can be turned into a Brahmin by the association of a pure devotee. Prabhu Vishnave Namaha. Lord Vishnu is so powerful that he can do anything he likes. Therefore, it is not difficult for Vishnu to change the body of a devotee who is under the guidance of a pure devotee of the Lord. Tare Shikaila Sab Vaishnavera Dharma Bhagavat Adi Shastraya Jata Guda Marma on the basis of scriptures like Srimad Bhagavatam, which reveal these confidential directions, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed Sanatana Goswami regarding all the regular activities of a devotee. 
In the parampara system, the instructions taken from the bona fide spiritual master must also be based on revealed Vedic scriptures. One who is in the line of disciplic succession cannot manufacture his own way of behavior. There are many so-called philosophers of the Vaishnav cult in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who do not scrupulously follow the conclusions of the Shastras and therefore they are considered to be Upa Sampradaya, which means outside of the Sampradaya. Some of these groups are known as Zao, Bao, Kartabhaja, uh, Neda, Darabesh, Shani Sahajiya, Shakti Beki, Smarta, Jatagosai, Atibadi, uh, Churadari and Goranganagari. And in order to follow strictly the disciplic succession of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one should not associate with these Apasampradaya communities. One who is not taught by a bona fide spiritual master cannot understand the Vedic literature. To emphasize this point, Lord Chaitanya, while instructing Arjuna, clearly said that it was because Arjuna was his devotee and confidential friend that he could understand the mystery of the Bhagavad Gita. It is to be concluded, therefore, that one who wants to be, therefore it is concluded that one who wants to understand the mystery of revealed scriptures must approach a bona fide spiritual master, hear from him very submissively, and render service to him. Then the import of the scriptures will be revealed. It is stated in the, in the Vedas, Yasya Devi Parabhaktir Yata Deve Tata Guru Tashyaiti Katita Yarta Prakashante Mahatmanaha. The real import of the scriptures is revealed to one who has unflinching faith in both the supreme personality of Godhead and the spiritual master. Um, Srila Naratam Dastakur advises, Sadhu Shastra Guru Vakya Ridaye Koriya Aikya. The meaning of the instructions the meaning of the instruction is that one must consider the instructions of the sadhu, the revealed scriptures, and the spiritual master in order to understand the real purport of spiritual life. Neither a sadhu, saintly person, or Vaishnav, nor a bona fide spiritual master says anything that is beyond the scope of the sanction of the revealed scriptures. Thus the statements of the revealed scriptures correspond to those of the bona fide spiritual master and saintly persons. One must therefore act with reference to these three important sources. So there's Guru, Sadhu, and Shastra. Thus, the statements of the revealed scriptures correspond to those of the bona fide spiritual master and saintly persons. One must therefore act with reference to these three important sources of understanding. The spiritual master, the saintly persons, and the scriptures. Iti madhye chandrasekar mishra tapan Iti madhye chandrasekar mishra tapan Duke Hoya Prabhu Pai Koila Nibedan. While Lord Chaitanya was instructing Sanatana Goswami, both Chandra Shekhar and Tapan Mishra became very unhappy. Therefore, they submitted an appeal unto the lotus feet of the Lord. Kateka Shuniba Prabhu Tomara Nindan. Napari sahite ebe chadiba jiban. How long can we tolerate the blasphemy by your critics against your conduct? We should give up our lives rather than hear such blasphemy. 
One of the most important instructions by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu regarding regular Vaishnav behavior is that a Vaishnav should be tolerant like a tree and submissive like grass. Trinadapi sunichena tarodiva sahisnuna amanina manadena kirtaniya sadahari. One should chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, thinking oneself lower than the straw in the street. One should be more tolerant than a tree, devoid of all sense of false prestige, and ready to offer all respect to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. Nevertheless, the author of these instructions, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, did not tolerate the misbehavior of Jagai and Madai. When they harmed Lord Nityananda Prabhu, he immediately became angry and wanted to kill them. And it was only by the mercy of Lord Nityananda Prabhu that they were saved. One should be very meek and humble in his personal transactions and if insulted, a Vaishnava should be more should be tolerant and not angry. But if there is blasphemy against one's guru or another Vaishnava, one should be as angry as fire. This was exhibited by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One should not tolerate blasphemy against a Vaishnava, but should immediately take one of these one of three actions. If someone blasphemes a Vaishnava, one should stop him with arguments and higher reason. If one is not expert enough to do this, he should give up his life on the spot. And if he cannot do this, he must go away. While Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Banaras or Kali, the Mayavadi sannyasis blasphemed him in many ways because although he was a sannyasi, he was indulging in chanting and dancing. Tapan Mishra and Chandrasekhar heard this criticism heard this criticism, and it was intolerable for them because they were great devotees of Lord Chaitanya. They could not stop it, however, and therefore they appealed to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because this, this uh, blasphemy was an in, intolerable, was so intolerable that they had decided to give up their to give up their lives they could not stop the blasphemy however and therefore they appealed to lord chaitanya mahaprabhu because this blasphemy was so intolerable that they had decided to give up their lives tomare nindaye jata sanyasi ragan shunite na pare vate ridoya ridoya shravan The Mayavadi sannyasis are all criticizing your holiness. We cannot tolerate hearing such criticism for this philosophy breaks. No, the Mayavadi sannyasis are all criticizing your holiness. We cannot tolerate hearing such criticism for this blasphemy breaks our hearts. This is a manifestation of real love for Krishna and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There are three categories of Vaishnavas, Kanishta Adhikaris, Madhyam Adhikaris, and Uttam Adhikaris. The Kanishta Adhikari, or the devotee of, in the lowest stage of Vaishnav life, has firm faith but is not familiar with the conclusions of the Shastras. The devotee in the middle stage, the Madhyamadhikari is completely aware of the of the Shastric conclusion has full and has firm faith in his guru and the Lord. He therefore avo he therefore avoiding non devotees preaches to the innocent. However, the Mahabhagavata or Uttamadhikari is the devotee in the higher in the highest stage of devotional life. <sighs> However, the Mahabhagavata or Uttama Adhikari, the devotee in the highest stage of devotional life, does not see anyone as being against the 
the Vaishnav principles, for he regards everyone as a Vaishnav but himself. This is the essence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instruction that one be more tolerant than a tree and drink and think one should be more tolerant than a tree and think oneself lower than the straw in the street. Srinadapi Suni Chena Taror Iva Sahisnuna. However, even if a devotee is in the Uttama Bhag, even if a devotee is in the uh, Uttama Bhagavat stat- status, uh, wait a minute. However, even if a devotee is in the uh, Uttama Bhagavat status, he must come down to the second to the second status of life, Madhya Madhikari, to be a preacher. For a preacher should not uh, tolerate blasphemy against other another Vaishnava. Although a Kanishtadhikari also cannot tolerate such blasphemy, he is not competent to stop it by citing Shastric ev- evidences. Therefore, Tapan Mishra and Chandra Shekhar are understood to be Kanishta Adhikaris because they could not um, refute these statements of the Supreme Person. Therefore, um, therefore Tapan Mishra and Chandra Sheikh are understood to be Kanishta Adhikaris because they could not refute the arguments of the sannyasis in Benares. They appealed to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to take action, for they felt that they could not tolerate such criticism, although they also could not stop it. Okay, I'm going to stop here and continue tomorrow. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridari Gopinatha Maranamon Giridari Gopinatha Maranamon Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Dharadara Shiva Sari Gauravakta Vrinda Dharadara Shiva Sari Gauravakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhakta Raghunan Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhakta Raghunan Shri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasa Raghunan Shri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasa Raghunan Echai Gosai Kori Chanana Bandhan Echai Gosai Kori Chanana Bandhan Jao Ite Vignana Shabhista Puran Jao Ite Vignana Shabhista Puran Echai Gosai Jar Mui Taradhan Gosai Jar Mui Taradas Tasaba Pada Renu Mora Panchagram Tasaba Pada Renu Mora Panchagram Tare Charana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhas Tare Charana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhas Janame Janame More Abilas 
ज्ञान में जना में मोरे राधाकृष्ण नित्य लीला खोरीला प्रकाश राधाकृष्ण नित्य लीला खोरीला प्रकाश आनंद बोलो हरे बाजा भिंडवान आनंद बोलो हरे बाजा भिंडवान श्री गुरु वैष्णव भरे मजाइमान श्री गुरु वैष्णव भरे मजियमान श्री गुरु वैष्णव भार पद मोरिया श्री गुरु वैष्णव पाद पद्म गोरिया हरि नाम संकीर्तन को है नानो चामुदान हरि नाम संकीर्तन को है नानो चामुदास हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे निकाय गोर हरि वो हरि वो परिकर शिशि गुरु गुरंग धार्मिक गिरिदारे जीव की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु भान परमंश पर बजाक चारी अष्ट तार सर शिशि मान शिल भक्ति सुंदर गोविंद देव गोस्वाई महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु भान परमंश पर बजाक चारी अष्ट तार सर शिशि मान शिल भक्ति भक्ति सुंदर गोविंद देव गोस्वाई महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु पाद परमंश पर बजा कचार्य अष्ट थर सर श्री श्रीमान शिल भक्ति रखक श्रीधर देव गोस्वाई महाराज की जाय जाय भगवान शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वाई ठाकुर की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु पाद श्रील गौर किशोर दस बाबा जी महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु पाद श्रील सानंद भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु पाद वैष्णव सार्वभौम शिल जगन्नाथ दास जी महाराज की जाय रूपनु का गुरु बार्ग की जाय नामाचार शिल हरिदास सकोर की जाय श्री रूप सनातन बात रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल बद दास रघुनाथ सद गो स्वामी प्रभु की जाय प्रेम सिंह गो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदान हर श्रीवासरी श्री गौर भक्त वृंद की जाय विश्वाभरण्य शिल भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज प्रापद की जाय अनंत खोति वैष्णव वृंद की जाय श्री श्री शिल भक्ति कुशम आश्रम महाराज की जाय शिल भक्ति तिलक नेहरी महाराज की जाय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जाय श्री चैतन्य चारितामृत की जाय आलिया शिल कृष्ण दास कविराज को स्वामी प्रभु की जाय आलिया सेम्बल दोतीज की जाय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरिहरि बोल